Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, and the hadith is in Sahih Muslim, that Iblis, he sets his throne on the water every single morning. Every day in the morning, Iblis sets his throne, his arsh, his place where he sits on the, uh, on the water, and then he sends his army to tempt mankind, tetra, one group after the other. And the one who is nearest to him is the one who can cause the most severe damage to mankind. That would be the closest person to him. So at the end of the day, they all come back, all oh, this army of shayateen, they all come back and report to Iblis what did they do during the day. So they would say, I have done such and such, kada wa kada. And Iblis would reply and say, you have done nothing. Under kada wa kada, under such and such, a shaitan will come and say, Ya Iblis, today I made this person drink alcohol. You have done nothing, Iblis will answer. Another shaitan will come and say, Ya Iblis, I made so and so. Gamble, you have done nothing. Iblis will answer. Ya Iblis, I made so and so commit adultery. I made so and so kill his brother. You have done nothing. Look at all these major sins. And Iblis keep answering every single one of them. You have done nothing. Until one of the shayateen comes and says, Today I did not leave so and so until I separated him from his wife. Iblis will get very happy and he will bring him that shaitan close to him and he will put a crown on his head and in the hadith it says he embraces him he hugs him Iblis hugs the shaitan that separate the husband from the wife Iblis on a daily basis hugs the shaitan that ruin homes. My brothers and sisters, look at the other stuff. <laughs> they are all kabair. They are all major sins. And Iblis kept on saying, you have done nothing. And the talaq, the divorce is halal. And he says, that is the best thing you did. Why? Because when the divorce takes place, the family is broken and that will lead to the society to be shattered and problems with the children. He keeps whispering the shaitan to the wife and he tells her, how long will you keep being patient with such a man? How long are you going to accept him treating you like a maid? Look at other women, how their husbands treat them. Go to him. The shaitan whispers to the woman, my sister, listen. Go to him and tell him, if you are a man, divorce me. And the shaitan keeps whispering until the sister go ahead and tells that statement to the husband. We are in the 21 century. Women's rights. You can't stay like this. Many men would love to have you. And he goes to the man. And he would say, Look, she doesn't listen to you. She disrespects you. Why are you keeping her with you? Divorce her. You will have a beautiful wife after that. And you will have a beautiful life. Divorce her. 
You're the first one who got divorced. You're not the first and you're not the last. Divorce! And the man will be tempted and he will utter the word. And sometimes that is the third divorce where we all know after the third divorce, the woman has to actually get married to another person, official marriage. Which man on earth accepts his wife marrying another man? And then these men come to the shiuch and say, Ya Sheikh, I was angry. Ya Sheikh, we want to go back together. Ya Sheikh, subhanAllah, my brother, my sister. When we utter these words, and when we decide to go into divorce, and I'm not talking about a divorce where you know, that is the only solution left. I'm talking about many of the divorces that are taking place, which are over trivial stuff. Allah, it's not worth it. Sit down. Talk to one another. Try to solve the problem. Get good, mature, wise family members involved. Ask yourself this question. These fights and these quarrels that take place daily, are they pleasing to the shaitan or are they pleasing to the Rahman? This divorce and separation and with, while kids are involved, who is it pleasing to? To the Rahman or to the shaitan? And another reason for this talk today is that I want anyone who can fix a problem between spouses to please do not hesitate this is one of the most rewarding ibadat acts of worship is to fix a problem between two people how about if these two people are a husband and a wife and you are trying to save a marriage please get involved and do your best my brothers and sisters, when you are in, in, in a fight or in, a, in an argument, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Say, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. My brother, if you feel like you have to leave the house, you have to leave the room, leave the room. My sister, do not push. Do not push and yell and raise your voice louder than him in order to create more problems. This is only pleasing to the Shaitan. And many, many, many times these conflicts, this dispute can be solved by sitting down calmly and discussing the matters wisely. My brothers and sisters, we want to bring the peace and the love and the mercy that Allah put وَجَعَلَ بَيْنَكُمْ مَوَدَّةً وَرَحْمَةً Allah put the love and the mercy between the spouses and now we see that it is gone we want to bring it back we want to bring it back Ya Allah, I ask you with the best of your names to fill all our homes with love and mercy Ya Allah, everyone who's listening to me right now Ya Allah, fill their homes with love and mercy and tranquility. Ya Allah, bless them with righteous children. Ya Allah, do not let the shaitan come between them. Ya Allah, make our last deeds, our best deeds, and our last words, La ilaha illallah. I love you all for the sake of Allah. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Nashadan la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka wa natubalik.